to a public school, most universities, and even many so-called Christian schools, you will be taught evolution as fact. Now, you shouldn't be taught about it because evolution has had a tremendous influence on society. It is one of the greatest hindrances to people coming to Jesus. So you need to know about it. However, in most schools, you will be forced to take more classes where the Big Bang to Man evolutionary story will be taught as absolute fact. If you are not careful and well prepared, you risk being convinced by what is a one-sided view of what is being presented. It will be presented to you as if it is a result of objective research. However, it is philosophically completely atheistic in nature. If asked about this, they will flat out deny it is atheistic, despite the philosophical and historical evidence that it is. You need to know how to handle having to sit in these classes and how to protect yourself from falling into their trap. This presentation will show you a lot of things you should and should not do in connection with these classes. All public schools teach the Big Bang to Man story has proven fact. The courts have banned any inclusion of intelligent design or creation as part of public school curriculum. However, individual teachers are legally allowed to refer to them, but it is discouraged. All secular universities teach the Big Bang to Man story as proven fact. Sadly, even most so-called Christian universities teach the Big Bang to Man story as proven fact. To do so, they always compromise the Bible in some way. In fact, this is the message that they are going to try to drill into your head, and most students will fall for. That is, evolution is proven fact, don't question it. And if you do, it'll bring ridicule. These schools really want to drive this point into you because they have a very strong anti-Christian and extremely leftist environment. They are literally out to destroy your faith in the Bible and God. At all these schools, you run the risk of coming out of them convinced that it is true. It is like a trial where the jury only gets to hear the prosecution. With the defense bound and gagged outside the courtroom and only referred to in ridicule. Here are some things you should not do. Do not challenge the teacher or try to discuss biblical creation in class. First of all, it is disrespectful. After all, it is his class. Second, unless you really know your stuff, he will probably make a fool out of you. Do not ask questions in class from an obviously creationist perspective. Do not get into a discussion with fellow students about biblical creation unless you know they are open to it. Do not answer questions from a creationist perspective. So how should you view the material you are being taught? First of all, remember that what you are being taught is in essence atheistic mythology. View the material you are being taught like you would a class on Greek mythology. Remember that you just need to learn the material. You do not have to believe it. Recognize that the underlying assumption of the material is absolute naturalism. Do not forget that God is excluded as a starting assumption. Consider the fact that properly understanding this material will help you to provide answers in the future. Here is what you must do regarding the class. The first thing you need to do is make sure you learn the material, even if you do not believe it. Your goal needs to be to pass the class so that you can put it behind you. Give the teacher the answers he wants, not necessarily what you actually believe. Make it a point to learn the material well enough that you understand it. It will help you to provide answers later. Try to get as good of a grade as you can possibly get. The better your grade, the harder it will be for anyone to claim you do not understand evolution. Take advantage of the course to make sure that you understand evolution well enough to refute it. Here are some things you can consider doing. Ask questions that will help you to understand the material better. Innocently ask questions that may help you to see behind the picture being presented. Engage the teacher in conversation, not about the material, to get an idea as to where he is personally coming from. Here are some things you need to keep in mind. First of all, the teacher is looking at the data, not just from a 
non-biblical perspective or an unbiblical perspective, but from a completely anti-biblical perspective. This is irrespective of any stated religious beliefs. He will never admit it and may even deny it. He will claim objectivity. You have to understand, they see creation as fake science that needs to be brought down. They will never give a creationist perspective on anything a chance. They are not interested in truth, but in guarding their claimed position of power at all costs. Here's a comment left on the website Quona. I deliberately blocked out the name. Of course, morons who call themselves creationists would not think they're practicing pseudoscience, Chuck. But it's pseudoscience. No matter how much you tell yourself, you are doing science. This shows that not only do they see creation as fake science, but they also see us as stupid. They have a very negative attitude towards anyone who disagrees with them. It gets even worse. They actually see themselves as having responsibility to shut down anyone who disagrees with them. Look at this quote, also from Porna. Blocking out cranks is one of the most important aspects of modern science. If we let any ignoramus who knows absolutely nothing about science have a said, the corresponding noise would be overwhelming and actual scientists would have no time for anything else. The right place for people who are interested in science but have no knowledge or previous experience is school. This is where every scientist starts. There is no exception, no special case, no shortcut. First, you study the basics and provide proof that you master them. Then you may come to the juicy stuff. Note that this is claiming that blocking people who disagree with some claim of institutionalized science is actually an important aspect of modern science and that such people are ignoramuses. Now, while I agree that schooling is important, first of all, with the advent of the internet, classroom study is not as important as it once was because you can access classes and lectures on any topic at your own pace. Second, by being in school, they mean schools that they approve of. So any school that teaches creation science is automatically not legitimate. You really need to keep in mind that you will never convince your teacher that evolution is wrong. You will never convince most of your classmates that evolution is wrong. The classroom is not the place to take a stand. It is an opportunity to learn about the other side and what they really think. Just keep in mind that a lot of what you are being told is not true. Here are some important survival techniques. Do not get involved in the worldly culture of your school. This does not mean stay away from everything, but if you are away from home at college, the worldly culture of drinking, partying, and intimate co-ed activity can be a major temptation. If you have to, for the sake of purity, keep to yourself unless you can find some other Bible-believing Christians that seek to do the same. Make sure that you stay in church. Almost nothing else is going to be as important to your spiritual survival than regularly attending a Bible-believing church that holds to a young earth position. See the link in the description for a list of churches to help you find a good Bible-believing church in the area where you are. Maintain regular devotions, even if you have to seek someplace totally private. Maintain a regular and proper prayer life. Have several highly trusted creation science sites that you will visit regularly. Besides Genesis Science Mission, I would highly recommend Answers in Genesis and Creation Ministries International. See the links in the description. Keep them available to find the answers to questions you may come across. Make sure your teacher's perspective is not the only one you are getting. Most schools, sadly including most so-called Christian schools, will try to drag you away from biblical creation. They will try to brainwash you into thinking that the Big Bang to Man evolutionary story is proven fact. They will ridicule and otherwise attack anyone who refuses to abide by the party line. Never challenge the teacher, no matter how dumb what he is saying may seem. Just realize that it is baloney. Keep in mind that the Big Bang to Man story is nothing but atheistic mythology pushed under the guise of science. Take advantage of the opportunity to understand what they claim, but do not fall for it. Be prepared to use it someday.
Keep yourself grounded in the faith. Stay in church. Keep reading your Bible and keep up your prayer life. Have regular contact with other creationists, even if it is just online, and even if it is just reading the material on creationist websites. When being force-fed atheist mythology in school, the best thing you can do is stay close to the Lord and pray for his protection.